Hey, so I've been sleeping in the altitude tent now for three nights and I want to show you the setup and how this thing works and how I'm getting along. I have next to the bed here, the compressor plugged into the wall. And then I have all this big, long set of tubes. The end of the tube goes into this little tiny slot. Here, yes, see, I'm doing really well with this. So we have the tent built up over the bed. Mattress is inside. So in order to get in, open up the zippers and climb inside. I have a little basket down next to it for my glasses and for this little um, gadget that measures my um, oxygen saturation in the blood and my pulse, which I'm supposed to measure during the night just so like, you know, if it goes down too low, turn the machine off, don't die, that kind of thing. So I've been given also a plan, a trainings plan um, for Schlafen in Hürmzelt. And this shows like where, at what altitude I sleep and where I should set the machine. I also have then training plan for passive training and just like kind of sitting around for an hour with the um, oxygen mask on at very high altitude for like an hour during each day. And then um, active training. And so this um, is where I, every few days, do like an hour worth of sport. Um, also at relatively high um, elevation, like 3,100 meters I did today. And I just kind of did some um, core strengthening training. So for an hour, nothing like too intense. You could sit on a stationary bike too, um, but just so that you're active at the higher levels. Okay, so this thing, I'm gonna turn it on now. It makes really nice loud peeps. And it's currently set to eight, which is 3150 meters, which is where I did my active training today. And so it comes through here into the tent and the tent, when I actually have it closed, it's going to, the walls will, it'll fill up, so it like decompresses. The walls pop back. Um, and it's got this funny little balloon thing here, and it makes a kind of a singing sound. I don't know if you can hear that. And it's really kind of freaky because it sounds like somebody's breathing, so I'm wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, who the hell's here with me? But other than that, First night, did not sleep so well um, because it was just really strange. And the second night and the third night, I slept great. So far, so good. Let's hope it helps.